Hey guys, it's Vic Merck with Team Relinquish. I'm here with Nathan. What do you do today, sir? I play Heroes. Um, what place did you take today at the at the Hollywood Regional? I ended up second place on my only loss being to Grand Maju. Got it, undefeated player, got it. Yep. That boy Nikita, nice! Do you have any uh, shout outs before you want to start the video? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Prodigy Games. Uh, visit our locals in Lake Worth down here in South Florida. We do locals on Tuesdays and Saturdays, constantly doing giveaways, stuff like that. Uh, shout out to this guy, Michael State. He over here with the, with the one eye bling. Uh, shout out to my girlfriend Julie. You know, without her, honestly, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. And you know, shout out to my parents, always supporting me and like letting me do the things that I want to do. So, yeah. All right, want to just get into it? Yeah, absolutely. So, first thing I played is three Stratos. People were cutting this down to one or two. Um, I think three is broken. I'd rather see two of this and then none of it in my hand. It's probably the bro most broken card in the entire deck, aside from this card. Three Ferris. Just literally starts your combos up, whether you want a normal summon or a special summon it, as long as you get to equip Vision Hero, uh, increase, as long as you get to equip him and start your combo off, it's insane. You don't need to tribute Ferris to start off the combo, you can, if you're afraid of back row decks, you can go into Cross Crusader, bait everything out, then use it. What about Witch Raider? Would you not play that deck? <laughs> Alright, and then I played uh, two Vision Hero Vions. Um, it's really good if you end up not opening the Stratos or the Ferrises or the increases, you can normal summon this. Send uh, Elemental Hero Shadow Mist to the graveyard, add your Ferris to your hand, and start your combo off that way. Regardless, you get it started. And then I played two Shadow Mist, pretty standard for that. Three Mali, obviously. Uh, one Celestial, people were cutting this card. I still think it's insane for burning your opponent in time. I had to burn two people in time. Uh, one Plasma, it's really, good, it's really good against like rogue decks right now. It's good against uh, decks that make you go first, you know, just dropping this on board, not letting them play, and then Dynatag for the other Destiny hero. Uh, you can use this on any Destiny hero you want, you don't have to do the combo where you just end on uh, Dystopia. You can do it on your Plasma, make your Plasma 29, just sit there on it, there's nothing you can do about it. I also played one uh, Solid, one Liquid, one uh, Honest Neos, and one Dust of Gold. Uh, solid's too good to cut, just because it auto automatically, like Stratos, and E-Call, or Rota in your hand, automatically gets you to a mass change no matter what you do. Same thing with this card, you can hard make it a mass change with that if you don't use your normal summon. Uh, this card just comes in clutch to not dying and OTKing your opponent. You don't need to dedicate to the fifth summon, you can just do four summons and OTK your opponent. And same thing with this card, just gets rid of their board, lets you OTK. Never use this card today. Never use this card ever. In the past two weeks of me playing this deck, this card's ass. I'm probably gonna cut it. Uh, three e call, uh, one rota. Got to search. Yeah, just all my searchers, and then I play three mass chains. Uh, you either have to hard draw in it with liquid, or you're gonna have to um, search it out with the solid soldier ma uh, shadow misplay. Really necessary to play three. I would never change this ratio. Same thing with three fusion destiny. It's literally should all fusion for your deck. Send whatever you want to send. Whether you want to summon dangerous or whether you want to summon dystopia. You can send Mali and then you can send another card, or you can send Mali and then you can send uh, Shadow Mist, get a search off, resummon it with Cross Crusader, burn them again with a Celestial if you need to. You can hard mix Dystopia with the Polymerization. Then I play the standard Miracle Fusion, Poly, and Dark Calling. Dark Calling just because I have a Dust of Gold, Polymerization because you have to for the uh, Sunrise play. And then Miracle Fusion, you hold on to it. You end up uh, making your Sunrise or searching for this and holding this in your hand, especially against back row decks or decks that are not going to OTK you because you have too much on board. You just make this next turn, mash it into Acid, you just kill them right there on the spot. These are the only things that I played as far as hand traps or back row hate. Uh, I just played three called by and three Imperm. I feel like this deck doesn't need Nibiru, it doesn't need Ash, it doesn't need Droll or anything in the main board to survive. This card's insane. You just hit Apologia in the Spiral board, stops them right there. You can just play through the sleeper and try again depending on your hand. And uh, same thing with uh, Call Blind. You lose to Droll, and if they ask your buy on, you lose right there. And then for the extra deck, a pretty standard lineup again. Uh, two Cross Crusader, one Dread Decimator, and one Wonder Driver. People forget about the second effect of this card all the time. So they attack over it and they got game, and I go mandatory effect to summon one from my hand. I summon Liquid or something like that, special summon another card. And they have two more bodies to get through, and they just can't do it. Uh, played two Dark Loss. Shout out to Aaron over here for getting me the Dark Loss. You know, these would have came in clutch during the entire tournament. Probably why I lost to the Grand Madri guy, because this guy wasn't ulti during the tournament. But yeah, it's mandatory to play two. I'm considering putting it to three sometimes, just because this card, you, you don't lose to Dark Road because of this card and this card together. You just reset your mass change, put it in defense for the Lightning Storm. Whenever they try to end up Lightning Storming you or Imperming you, you just mass change to the second one. 
And good luck to them to playing through that. Same thing with Sunriser. I like to leave him on board a lot of the times because whenever an attack is involved within two within a hero monster and another monster, just pop a card on the board. People forget about the effect all the time. I use it to get around a lot of different things. I pop face down should all monsters all day with this card. They got banished by Dark Claw. They don't get any effects off. Same thing with Dystopia. They, uh, if you think they're gonna Mystic Mind you, pop it with this. Make it with Dread Decim like Dread Decimator, have this underneath it, or Dynatag it if you have to. It just gets rid of Mystic Mind, it gets rid of Shit All Construct. This card's literally insane. I wish I could go into it more often. I only made it up making it like four times today. Then I played one Absolute Zero, and I also played the one Acid with the Absolute Zero. The combo's too insane. All you have to do, in old formats, it was really hard to get this effect though because you had to crash sometimes or Dark Hole or something like that. Uh, nowadays, you just link it off and you immediately trigger the effect. So you don't even need the Mass Region of this to get it off. Just link something into another hero monster, it triggers, and you get to blow up their board. The so one Malicious Bane for the Odessa Gold combo. People forget that it can't be destroyed with Battle Card Effects. Uh, you end up sitting on it, and they never do anything. Uh, one Adoration, it's just for uh, getting over bigger monsters and taking monsters' attacks and stuff like that. Like This would have been really good in the Grand Maju matchup where I get to steal half and bump something up by half. Uh, one Dangerous because I can send Shadow Mist off it because it's a dark, her dark hero, or a dark monster and a Destiny hero monster. One Blast for back row removal. This card was insane. Literally, like somebody tried to, like Alter Guys player tried to end phase me. I changed into this, quick effect bounce something, stand my face, quick effect bounce the other back row, OTK'd him. And then one Trinity never made this card ever. Probably going to cut it. Probably going to end up running um, Escarado instead of this card just because it's another target for your miracle. I haven't been that deck for months, never once brought it out. Exactly, <laughs> that card's so bad. Three Droll. Never saw it today. The Spiral player that I played against decided to set two pass against me two times and I uh, ended up stomping him. Uh, three Nibiru. This card it comes insanely clutch, especially against Rockets. You just dunk on them as soon as they try to get into their Bolo Savage. The moment you see the, the, the Sigro coming up, you just drop it on them. It stops their whole combo. Uh, three Tune Twisters for the back row. I already played Stratos, and what happened in my Ultra Guys matchup is I ended up going uh, Vision Hero, uh, Ferris, then I went into Increase Vion, and then I Vion sent Shadow Mist to search on the Stratos, and he had two back row, three back row. He anti spell fragrance me. He had a spell fragrance to me, and there was a uh, solemn judgment, so I just normal summon Stratos and force him to use a judgment, and I OTK him right through it. Uh, three Dark Lord no more. Didn't really cite it today, wasn't really scared of anything, honestly. This card could have been anything else, I'm considering it being like evenly, but if I was playing against more spirals, I would be worried about it. I play the Imprim in the main for the should all matchup. And this card's the absolute MVP of the deck. This card stops Lightning Storm, Dark Rulers. They have the shotgun super polys off of this. Like it ruins so many different plays and so many different decks are relying off of this card. Off of you not having this card. Like for example, this stops the Lunar Light matchup immediately. If you don't have the back row out, you just immediately win the matchup. Uh, Rockets, they need it for boot sector launch, they need it for quick launch. And uh, this card's really insane against uh, the mirror match and against Shadals. They're gonna set their Shadal fusions, they don't get to go off, and all you need is one turn to just OTK them. They can't ever get out of your board if you end up flipping this and they just have Shadal fusions. And uh, that's pretty much it for the next football. Hi. Well, thank you, sir. Have a nice day.